Hey guys, Shane Starnes with DroidModRacks.com and as some of you guys have probably seen by now, I have the Nexus 10 on hand. I made an unboxing video yesterday that you will want to check out. In fact, I'll have links to that in the description. And of course, as you guys know, the first thing that I like to do with new devices is unlock the bootloader if it has a bootloader that's unlockable and root the device. So in the next two videos, I'll show you guys how to unlock the bootloader and then we'll move on to the second video uh, where I'll show you guys how to root it. This is all very simple. Uh, but it is a manual process, so you want to make sure that you do bookmark this video uh, for future reference. So to unlock the device, we will be using uh, the fast boot method. Uh, Zito Max has put together a package with all the files that we need. Obviously, if you have it, the SDK already installed on your computer, it'll make things go pretty smoothly. Uh, you can go into your platform tools folder and open up your command line from there to do your unlock, and that'll make it all nice and easy. Um, if not, Xenomax put together a Nexus 10 root package that includes the fastboot and ADB files that are needed as well. So you can head to the link in the description and download those files. So once you have those files downloaded, you'll want to go ahead and put your Nexus 10 into bootloader mode. So the way that we'll do that is we'll power off. Okay, and to boot into bootloader mode, we're going to hold both volume buttons and the power button at the same time. Okay, so now that we're in bootloader mode, we'll go on to the computer. Okay, so from the computer, we'll go ahead and open up the Nexus 10 root. You'll need to unzip that onto your desktop, and it has all the files that you need. So from here, we're just going to uh, click Shift, and then right-click to open up a command prompt. We'll try fast boot devices. And it should show an ID. Uh, if it doesn't show an ID, you want to make sure that your uh, drivers are installed. You can go into the device manager and uh, install your drivers. The drivers are included in the Nexus 10 root folder. Uh, so you would just you would just grab the USB drivers from here and update those in Device Manager. So we can move forward. The next thing we'll type is Fastboot OEM Unlock and hit enter. Okay, you should see this message pop up on your device. Uh, what you'll want to do is hit the volume plus button, the one on the right side, and select yes to unlock, and then hit the power button. Okay, so now uh, your device is unlocked. So from here, all you have to do is hit start. You can unplug the USB cable from here. Now this is going to totally wipe your entire system. Uh, so any kind of data that you had saved, any applications or games that you had saved will be erased. So you'll probably want to go ahead and back those up um, before you do this process. And when we reboot, that is going to erase everything. So we'll go ahead and press the power button to reboot. Now if it doesn't boot up right away, you'll need to boot into recovery and wipe the data on your own. Sometimes it does not auto wipe data. Last night I tried this and my tablet sat here for about 15 minutes and it wouldn't reboot so I had to manually boot into recovery and wipe the data from there. So the way that you would do that if this does happen, you go ahead and hit both volume buttons and the power at the same time until it reboots into bootloader. From there you'll hit the volume up until you get to recovery and then you'll press the power button to boot into recovery. Okay, when you see this screen, you'll hit the volume plus. So on the on the right side, you'll hit the volume plus and the power at the same time. Like that. And that'll bring up your stock recovery. From there, you're going to select wipe data, factory reset, and hit the power button. And then scroll down to yes, delete all user data. Select the power button. That's going to wipe your data. And then when you reboot your device, it should boot right up. So we'll go ahead and hit the power button to reboot the system now. And now we should be booted and we'll have our unlocked bootloader. Sorry for the glare on the screen. This screen is very reflective. So you guys probably saw that little unlocked 
padlock there below the Google, which means our device is unlocked. So it should boot right up. Okay guys, that has been how to unlock the bootloader on the Nexus 10. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, leave comments below, uh, and thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Go ahead and take a look at the front of the box. You can see the uh, tablet is displayed there with a nice Nexus logo. Everything looks really nice.